Hey, what's going on guys? It is Celeb. I'm here to react to the Bethesda E3 presser. I wasn't able to do it last night. There was a flash flood warning in the area um, and the rain uh, got me crazy tired, man. It was thundering and lightning and I was like, you know what, man? I'm just going to go to bed. I'll hit you guys up in the morning. But I'm back. I'm not going to talk about what I've been drinking, what I've been gaming, but I'm going to get right into the E3 presser. It was an awesome show last night, and they definitely beat what they had last year or almost tied what they had last year. Um, they had a lot of announcements, a lot of things shown off, and right out of the bat, we get the announcement that Quake is coming back with Quake Champions. And Quake Champions is going to be a PC exclusive title. It's going to be the first game uh, to release in the Quake series in uh, just under six years or right over six years, whatever you want to say. Uh, Quake Live uh, was basically an updated version of, of Quake 3 that came out in 2010. And before that, it was en enemy territory, uh, Quake Wars. And, you know, we know how that game was. Uh, but <laughs> like I said, Quake has been around since 1996. Um, it was originally developed by id Software and published by GT Interactive, uh, and I'm very excited for this game, man. It's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a total relaunch of Quake, um, and it's a good time for it to relaunch, especially with Unreal Tournament somewhat doing the whole crowd Kickstarter thing, and it's coming back, um, basically getting uh, you know the, the fans to help build the game up. Um, but Quake is coming back. I'm totally stoked about that. Uh, I've been saying for quite some time that Quake was going to make its return. Uh, there was a trailer that was released. And I know some of you may be thinking, why doesn't this guy have the trailers in the actual video? Uh, it's so much of a long process to do so many reaction videos and then download all the videos and then have the clips in there. So I hope you guys can understand. But like I said, I am totally excited for this game and I hope you are too. Now after that they talked about Elder Scrolls Legends uh, and it has a campaign. It showed off a little bit of the campaign art. Um, I'm somewhat excited about this. It's a free strategy based card game, uh, kind of like Hearthstone. Uh, Hearthstone, whatever you want to call it, um, it was uh, um, it was kind of a surprise whenever they announced it. Uh, but more or less, I guess I can understand why they would announce it though too, because it's got a lot of lore. The Elder Scrolls uh, genre and the Elder Scrolls world has a lot of lore, just as much lore as World of Warcraft. So I think it would be a really good game to have as a card-based strategy title. It was also announced that Skyrim. Special Edition is coming back, and uh, it's it's so awesome that it was finally announced. Um, what's great about Skyrim Special Edition is that Skyrim Special Edition is going to have updated graphics. It's going to have new physics, everything. I mean, it's going to look like almost like a completely different game, um, and I'm very excited because it also has mod capabilities on the console, and it is coming October 28th. So I hope you guys are ready to be sucked into the world of Skyrim once again because I know that I definitely am. Uh, another thing is Arcane Studios finally announced that they were coming out with a Prey reboot. Now they said, well it's not a reboot, it's not a, you know, uh, it doesn't, it has nothing to do with the original um, at all. It's our own take on Prey. And what I like about this is that it is so, it is a reboot because it's basically it's just like machine games with Wolfenstein. They took they took what they already had and kind of made it their own and uh, changed things up. So there was some links in that one, but this one supposedly has no links. And outside of it being more of a kind of you know futuristic crazy game. It's going to have a heavy psychological um, aspect to the game. Like he's he's talking to himself a lot. The main character is. There's some times that he's saying some stuff. Um, like in the in the trailer, uh, he was saying, um, "Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, Morgan." Like he would wake up every morning and say that he has a he has an interview that he has to go to and he has to do this, he has to do that. And I think they said that it, it's the year 2032. And uh, whenever you go, you're in this space station. And what's crazy is that um, you're you're basically being told that you're having this test done on you in the trailer this is what they're saying but then you're also being hunted by like this crazy alien force 
that has completely taken over everything. So um, I'm excited about it, man. It looks fantastic. Uh, it looks, I mean, it looks really, really, really good. The graphics look fantastic. So they also announced some new stuff coming to Elder Scrolls Online. They announced the Dark Brotherhood expansion is coming to consoles very soon. They also announced um, the that there is Zenimax is going to uh, remove the level restrictions from the game this fall. So this fall, you will actually, um, you know, on Elder Scrolls Online. That's actually probably one of the reasons why Dara and I did not. We we like Elder Scrolls Online, but we kind of stopped playing it for a while because there were some times that she would be a higher level than me because I hadn't had a chance, a lot of chances to play it. So whenever it came down to her and me wanting to team up and play together. We couldn't really do it because she was a higher level. So now uh, that the level restriction is going to be taken away, we may be picking this title back up and uh, definitely checking out the Dark Brotherhood expansion that will be coming out later this fall or later this year. Um, Bethesda also talked about Bethesda VR. And uh, it was a, somewhat of a surprise to me, but also it's pretty cool though too. Uh, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this. Now the two games that they kind of showed off at first and said, hey, this is definitely coming, uh, is Fallout 4 and Doom. Fallout 4 and Doom will have uh, VR. Um, now I don't really know what this is going to be. Are, are they just announcing that it'll be compatible now, I know they said it would be compatible with HTC Vive. Uh, Fallout 4 will be, and I guess Doom will be as well. But will Doom and Fallout 4 be compatible with PlayStation VR and Oculus and so on and so forth? Um, I hope so. I think that would be a really awesome thing. I think a game like Dishonored 2 would be something great to play on PlayStation VR, uh, HTC Vive, or even Oculus as well. So... And speaking of Dishonored 2, uh, they showed off a lot of the new locations in Dishonored 2, and they showed off a lot of gameplay, and it looks fantastic. They showed off a lot of the new powers that you can use, uh, and I'm definitely going to play as Emily. Uh, 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 no offense or buts about it. I was really hesitant. I was like, maybe I'll just probably just play as Corvo. But the way, um, the way this trailer and the way they're really pushing Emily, I'm really liking the female lead and having Corvo as like the the head of security and uh, you know her dad and all this other stuff. And it's just I think it's really going to be a fantastic game and I think it's going to have a little bit of a better story with playing as Emily. Now both Corvo and Emily are completely voice acted this time too, so that's another really good thing to have. Um, you have a great connection with the character as well now one of the last things i want to talk about they talked about doom as well um there's actually two things i want to talk about they talked about doom um and what was uh coming soon to that they're gonna have more snap map features with uh they're gonna have tons of different tools that you can use new health themes that you can use as well now in the actual um the game itself there's going to be th or the multiplayer itself there's going to be three new maps that are going to be playable there's also going to be a new um there's going to be a new demonic character uh that's the harvester that will be playable as well that looks pretty fun and then the premium uh the actual first premium dlc has been announced and uh it looks good uh it looks awesome uh, i actually planned on buying the premium DLC, I just, I don't know why, I guess it just slipped my mind constantly. Um, and I keep telling myself I have to go on there and purchase it before stuff comes out. But like I said, the Snap Map tools will be available. Hell visual themes, uh, classic deathmatch, uh, capture and hold, capture the flag. And then Marty also talked about the, um, the premium content which uh, the premium content has Unto the Evil, uh, which is what it's going to be called. It's going to have new armor, new weapons, three new maps, a playable demon uh, class called the Harvester, uh, and this is all going to be released within the next couple of months. So it's pretty awesome. I'm very excited to see uh, what they're going to show with that. Now, another thing, too, that is fantastic is that Fallout 4's new DLC was announced. There's going to be a contraptions workshop where you can build different contraptions around the world. Also, there's going to be a vault tech workshop, guys. A full-on vault tech workshop. I'm so excited. You can build your own vault. Everything, dude. Like, it looks fantastic. And the last DLC that will be available 
for Fallout 4 will be Nuka World. And it is a theme park that uh, was built before, I guess, before the, the bombs and everything. And it looks like a really huge world. I'm very excited about that. So uh, there's some more content as well coming out to Fallout uh, Shelter. I haven't been playing a ton of Fallout Shelter, so I hope people out there that play Fallout Shelter aren't mad at me for not really talking about it too much. But like I said, it was a great press event. And, and I, as I said beforehand, as I said in the EA reaction, really, guys, I mean... This is what an E3 press conference was is supposed to be like. Reveals, gameplay trailers, uh, surprises. Um, this is how E3 is, it needs to be. It needs to be this with Microsoft, Ubisoft, and Sony today as well. Um, and I'm hoping to see, I'm really hoping to see some news on the new consoles. And I'm hoping to see some awesome gameplay from Ubisoft. And maybe some great announcements of, of upcoming games. From Microsoft and Sony as well. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check back at secondopinionpod.com later on tonight for my brief reaction to Xbox, Ubisoft, and PlayStation. I'm going to have them all in one video. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.